Okay, so if you're like me and you have multiple electronic devices that you need to charge, it becomes a challenge when you're trying to plug these on to an electrical outlet. So what I'm going to do today is review with you from FastMac the U-Socket um, electrical outlet. Let me show you what the product is like. Well, one of the neat things about this product, as you can see by this face template, is that not only does it support your standard electrical uh, plugs, but it also has, yes, USB plugs. Let me show you what the device looks like. So here what you have is your standard outlet, uh, and you also have your USB plugs. So the goal with this, of this device, or this uh, receptacle, is to allow you to have um, normal appliances plugged in and plug in either your iPhone, your Droid device, and believe it or not, yes, you can even plug in your iPad. So the uh, USB ports do supply sufficient charge to charge um, an iPad, not just one iPad, but two iPads. So they're rated with the appropriate uh, voltage to be able to support those devices. Uh, pretty standard outlet, as you can see right here. Um, you do have uh, your connectors for your, both your electric, uh, um, both your positive and negative, uh, or uh, the cables that have electricity and, and that, uh, which, which doesn't here. You also have a little um, polarity uh, indicator. In the event that your polarity is wrong, what will happen is this little light will turn on. So I'll show you how that works as uh, we plug in. Hopefully my polarity will, will be right, so we won't see that. Uh, in the box also you, you have this nut that comes in here. There's a cable uh, for uh, the ground wire, which appears right here, as well as, um, as I indicated earlier, the faceplate. Uh, so I'll show you how to install this if you want to do this at home. Uh, they're around 20 bucks. Um, probably a little bit more with shipping and handling um, at FastMac. Now the tools that you're going to need uh, will vary depending on your outlet. So I have three tools here that you may consider having ready with you. Uh, for the most part, I think I'm just going to be using a screwdriver, but just in case, I have my wire cutter and then I also have my pliers. And that's just, uh, just in case I need it, but I'm sure um, anyone could get away with just using a screwdriver. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this, but before I do, just want to point out a couple things. Uh, the brass side, and you notice by the color, brass, this is where you'll put what's known as your live or hot wire. On the other side, the silver side, is what you'll put your neutral wire. Uh, let me show you how you can determine that. I have one extra tool that, that you can use a wire tester to see which one is hot and which one is uh, the neutral. Uh, so let's take a look at that. So here's the outlet that I've just removed, and as you'll notice, we have two wires, and the colors are pretty consistent. Remember a couple seconds ago I indicated your uh, brass and your silver. Let's see if you can see that. There's the silver side and there's the brass. Uh, the colors are going to vary based on, you know, who constructed your home. Uh, you would hope that they would be consistent. Uh, in my case, the brass are the red wires, so this is my hot, and then the uh, white ones happen to be the neutral. I do have a little tool that I can use to just prove that out. Uh, this is something that you can actually uh, pick up at Home Depot. Uh, it's just a little wire tester. Uh, you notice as I go against the wire that is the hot, it's going to light up. If I go against the wire that is not, let me adjust it a little bit, nothing there. That's hot, not hot, so that's my neutral, that's my live. So that's one way how you can test which one is and which one isn't. Uh, your, your live wire. Uh, you'd hope that your electrician, when they installed the outlet, they followed uh, you know, what the standards are and put the hot on the brass, but that's one way you can double check it. All right, so finish tightening up each side. Again, white going to silver, hot going on to the brass side. Uh, you notice also, if we look for the polarity indicator, it is off. That is a good thing. If I had put this red live wire on the silver and the silver neutral wire onto the brass that would have gone on. Uh, in this case everything is connected correctly so uh, we're good. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to connect it, plug it into the wall and then we'll go ahead and test it and see how it works. Alright so let's go ahead, I uh, disconnected the other outlet that's already been removed. One of the things I also did before disconnecting is I uh, turned off the power to that electrical socket so that, uh, that we wouldn't get shocked. But again following the instructions, uh, this is my hot, it's going on the brass, so what I'll do is I'll just tighten that screw and then do the same thing. Here's my white down here and I'll connect it to the silver side. 
Okay, so went ahead and installed the cover plate on, as you can see here. Here are our USB plugs now. I have my iPad cable connected to it. One of the things uh, you may wonder is, uh, I had a ground cable uh, or that I didn't use, and I'll explain why I didn't use it. But uh, here's another little tool that you can, um, this is an optional tool. I'm, I do a little handy stuff around the house uh, with electricity. I'm not an electrician, but this always comes uh, in handy to see if your wiring is correct. Um, let me show you what happens when I plug this guy in here. Uh, these two uh, lights turning on indicate that it's grounded and that my polarity is correct. Uh, the reason why I didn't have to put in a grounding wire for this specific outlet is because I have a, another uh, grounding source that I'll show you in a couple seconds. But first of all, once again, here's our, here's our, our cable for our iPad. Um, here's a cable for just a regular phone. I'll plug that in. And let's see how this works when I connect it to the right, device. So I'm going to go ahead and plug um, into this HTC Shift. Uh, the USB cable is coming from the outlet. You notice you know, nothing is charging. I'll put it in here. We'll see what happens. It's turned on. Charging light is on. And the charging symbol is also on. So it's not only going to supply power here, but also to my USB devices. Let's go ahead and try an iPad now. Let me grab that. Here I have uh, an iPad. Uh, this is an iPad 1. Got my cable. I'll plug it in here. And it says that it's charging. You notice that the little charging cable up here icon is showing. And it turned on indicating that it's charging. So this will charge two devices. So I can charge at the same time my iPad as well as my phone if I would like. Installation took around uh, 10 minutes uh, from beginning to end. Again, this is a tool that I did not show in the uh, actual opening. Uh, it's something that's optional. It's something that if you don't do electrical work, it's something that you may never use again. Uh, but it's also something that's great for double checking um, your wiring. All I really used was the screwdriver and, and that was pretty much it. Uh, this is the outlet that, that connects all of my electrical outlets here in the kitchen. Um, and if you notice, it has it's a, it's a ground, ground fault switch. So uh, this, if this uh, circuit is tripped, all outlets get tripped. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I didn't have to run a ground wire to that other outlet. Uh, if you do have one of these, I would never replace that outlet with this outlet. Uh, this outlet is very important, it's critical to your house, so you'd want to find an outlet that actually has uh, no GFI. You would want a simple one like the one that I chose.